good evening. We It's uh, Friday night and we're heading down to my parents' house for the weekend. We're gonna go see a play and on Sunday, we're gonna see my old middle school that's been revamped since I was there. Such so, excite. Such excite. Very adventure, yes. Wow. Ooh. We made it to Scotts Valley and here's Anoush. Hi. Hi there. Eat, eat up. You gotta get some meat back on your bones. Skinny kitty. Mm. You know, she's eating, so. Yeah, that's good. And over here, we have the unit. Hi, Boone. You're cozy? You've been eating Anusha's high calorie food, so you've been getting a bit, bit big, bored. <laughs> and this is the play we're going to see tomorrow night. Ooh. Mysterious hand behind the curtain, which is most likely made of red velvet. <sighs> Hello, it is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. I have hijacked Arden's camera and I'm hanging out with a friend. Best friends. <laughs> Enosh. He's just trying to sleep. Mm, sweet old thing. And here's Arden. Hello. She's putting her earrings in. I am. And she's pretty. Thank you. As usual. <laughs> to do things. So it is now Sunday. Hello, what are we doing? Sunday. We're going to do some painting. This is my mom. I think you've been in Hello. vlogs before. But I think so. yeah. <laughs> she's been getting into acrylic painting and. I'm getting a lesson. Yeah. As a matter of fact. I mean, I, I don't know if I know much more than you do at this point, but I can try. <laughs> Blue and white. Uh-huh. And yellow. So yellow. this is the um I think at, at very least we'll want blue and yellow and red and white. So this is what we're gonna be replicating? Is this work right here? No. Or do we have a picture to replicate or uh or model offer? I don't know. What what did, what do you wanna do? <laughs> I need to help. I need help with rendering water, okay. like on the lake, okay. with the ripples, or even a uh, sea or river. Yeah. You know, any any sort of uh, water. I'm not happy with how it's coming. Okay. Let me let me grab my iPad so we can find some reference pictures. Reference pictures are good. Yes. We'll just when it away do, when you do realism, reference is good. Um, You're looking yeah, at sample pictures whatever. right now. Yeah, whatever, whatever you think. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and... This is the image we're gonna be using to paint water. We don't need it, we're not gonna replicate the whole thing, we're just gonna work yeah, on the water. Yeah, we can water. just work on the water. Um, so I think I saved that to photos. Oh look, there's that one too. Um, yeah, that was a picture that I took. We can find again if we want. Mm -hmm. or, or I guess this, what I would start is like a base color, right? And mm -hmm. just like, we'll just do like a base. Yeah. So we'll get some. Or you can start. I don't know. I'm, I'm taking over because I'm not um, sure. Are you thinking? I don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> we'll just do I can, I can consult. I am in no way an expert, but. Well, tell you what, if yeah. you were going to try and replicate that, let me just watch what you would do. Okay. And yeah, then so I would and probably then I'll, start. I'll get some, uh. At some point, I'll, I'll work on it. Okay. Yeah, I got the, that's that's my old white. I did get some new white, but uh, <laughs> these are like, you know how old these are? Did I tell you? Um, I think you did, but how old are they? Tell it to the camera. <laughs> well, these are from 1986. Mm. So these are older than I 
yeah. Older than I am too. Oh yeah, yeah. So Older than my brother. I would say 32, 33 years at this point. Yeah, 32 and a half at least. Subscribe. So, so uh, I did have to get a new red, but everything else, yeah. Some nice big, big blobs. Blobs Very of good. Paint. Oh, here's the water too. Yes. Some of these brushes are from then too. I did buy a couple new brushes. Mm -hmm. And a little red, nice. Mm -hmm. And some yellow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, right. All the colors from red, yellow, blue, and then yep. white can. Right. Okay, so we got that. Um, yeah, so I think if we want to start, let's. With the brush. Okay. Um yeah, I'll just yeah. Okay. Um yeah, and I see just start mixing up those yeah, just kind of base start color. mixing up the base color. Maybe put a little bit of yellow in there. That is far too much yellow. Oh no. Okay. So I'm already ruining things. <laughs> but, uh, no, you tell me. There's you can't ruin it. That's true. We can't yes, ruin there's, it. Cause there's more paint, you know. That we have more paint. It's we can't all, ruin things. We're all good. We can't ruin things. We're all good. So yeah, I think that's good. And we can just kind of start. It doesn't have to be like perfectly mixed on the palette. Because oh if my it's God. still wet on the canvas. It'll mix in with itself. So you know what? That is something I just learned just now. That, mm -hmm. That's that's new right there. That was something I learned from a Skillshare video. Wow. So it doesn't matter about right. Experts all relative, right? Yeah. It's, uh, I, I really do believe in the fourth graders teaching the second graders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know more than me. I'm gonna learn something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this so, is great. And you yeah, see, you can so kind of mix it right. Yeah, on you there. can just mix it right on there as long as it's still wet. Okay. So, yeah. Well, little, do you recognize a this? Bit more blue. I got. I got to mention this. Though. Do you recognize this tablecloth? I think we did play doh on this. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Memories. So. Well, this is great. No, a lot more blue. blue. <laughs> yeah. I need a lot more blue and a lot more white. Okay. Here, I'll get. Let me, let me add some of that then. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add some blue down here. And a little more white too? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm just, just going to keep going. Yeah. And we're just going to do those broad strokes here with the water to kind of get that effect all across the canvas. My name is Bob Ross. Please watch my show. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. And... Yeah, and since we are doing water for this, I am gonna consciously keep my strokes horizontally. Oh, okay. Whereas, like, if I wanted more of a like a flat color, I might like vary up the direction oh, of my but strokes. The, but it's, because it's the waves gonna be are gonna that be, way, that's I want to kind of keep that pattern. So that's something I also do. Yeah. Don't sit down in the chair, by the way. I know she's right there. Yeah. Just mentioning we that. We have a friend now. Yes, a new sh Hello. <laughs> Get that camera out of my face. Mix it right on there. Mm-hmm. So this is all about kind of getting the color and the texture that you want, huh? You um, just can keep kind of yeah, doing it while mostly, it's wet? Mostly color at this point. Kind of a base. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of a base. All right. See, it's a little darker down here, okay. so I'm just going to add some more paint blue down here. So I noticed you are not um, using any black to be there because you, because if we add a, like, a, we'll just get all the black we need from. Ugh, that's always. Um, I, I like to use black sparingly. I find that it dulls down the colors in a way that I don't always like. Oh, okay. Um, 
So yeah, I want to try and keep it as saturated as possible. What do I feel like doing? I feel like putting like parchment under this. Or yeah. Something. Let me, let me is... just. Let me just. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I have this other thing I use. I stick parchment under it. Okay. Break for parchment. Different uh, uh, depth of color with a little greener, a little bluer. Yeah. Without even. Um, Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Now okay. I'm starting green. So got a little bit darker around the edges too. So I'm just kind of gonna put that here on the edges. Thank you. It's one reason, yeah, not to do the whole thing at this point. Just because we can hold it. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're so. almost purposely not, not blending it in there, just so it gives yeah, that depth just, of color. I'm yeah, just, I'm kinda, just kind of commenting on your method. Also noticing you're stroking now with kind of the topmost points of the brush. Yeah, and I'm holding the brush more um, horizontally just to kind of keep that vertically. texture in there. Well, I mean, oh the, right, yeah, vertically, horizontally. I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The, with the thin... I was having trouble parsing that. I yes. was like, wait, but it's up and down. Isn't I'm that... doing it more with the it's perpendicular. <laughs> yeah, but, in but a, more in with a the horizontal the... way. Yeah, the thin edge of the brush yeah. rather than the thick. Got it. So that it kind of keeps in the texture a little bit. Waiting for this to dry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one little quick tip: uh, when you have cleaned your brush and it's still damp, you wanna lay it horizontally so that the water doesn't seep down into the, um, I think it's called the ferrule, yes. and uh, loosen the adhesive and break your brush. So. Good tip. Do, 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 do. You also don't wanna leave it upside down in the water because then it'll bend the bristles and also ruin your brush, so horizontally. Or if you've got something fancy that'll like hold your brush suspended like this, Ooh, that's the ideal. But most people just that horizontal. Would be, that would do, 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 do. Tip. So it's apparently another tip that I missed out on. Uh, so yes, that I've already forgotten what I said. Yeah. <laughs> no, at the beginning when you start, you you put it in the water and I then can't. took most of the water off. But then you're not starting with a fully dry brush, even though it's a dry brush method because we're not wetting. Uh, that and I uh, that was something I didn't know. So yeah. I think it that definitely enhanced it. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Step right, dry yeah. enough, and so it's like it's darker and lighter, right? Yeah. Am I seeing that right? Okay. Um, yeah. So we have kind of like a nice mid-tone base, and so what we want is to get a smaller brush. That's my choice. Is to, tell yeah. me if you, I don't have a brush that you would use. <laughs> like, um, oh, if you had a brush, it would be, because then I could buy one. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, Some of these brushes these are, are from 1986. Yeah. This one's new. This one's new. Okay. Everything else is, oh, and this one's new. Yeah. Everything else is old. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, they're definitely, like, we they're can Okay. Those. I think I took a scissors and cut yeah, a little strands on one. I know. Personally, I'm a fan of, like, the, the filbert brushes, which are kind of like this, except they've got rounded edges. But um, I also okay. I also do, like, uh, flat brushes. I need to write that down. Filbert yes. brush. I'm going to use the flat one now. Because um, that's yes. also, it's, it's smaller. I haven't used it a lot. So I think I think part of my problem before was trying to make the little wave bits with the this brush, and it was too... Yeah, where is this one? Fat, like, because fat it, fingers. Yeah, <laughs> because it's got the nice... Thin edge, you can hold it like this. And, um, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go darker. So, um, I typically like to go darker first. So yeah. I think 
what we want is to kind of get a little bit of like this mix Red. with yeah. maybe a little. Oh, and I also have browns. If you that um, so yeah. kind of on the yellow spectrum. Yeah, I mean, really, what I do is I just kind of play around with it. That's actually until, what I've been doing with yeah, my other one. Just like, and that's half the fun. It's like, yeah, let me, let me just play with it. And now, um, like, see how it's kind of drying out? I'm just gonna kind of dip this in there a little bit, just to kind of thin out the paint a little. Oh. That may have been a mistake, but oh. Yeah, so that may have been a bit, okay, bit of a mistake. Right. Oh well. Live so, and learn. Yeah, live and learn. See, but this is what was happened to me where then yeah, the, the paint would um it shows the texture through that I didn't want. Oh yeah. there you go. So so a little wetter paint is what you were saying. Um yeah. Yeah, so if you wanna okay. try. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's get a little here and then so what we're doing it is just sort of See, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just like, just kind of doing lines. I mean, I'm yeah, impressed. That's what I'm doing, just kind of doing yeah. lines. Yeah, you're kind of doing sort of sweeping lines. You know, when yeah, Arden and I went, like... when we went to the paint night, part of what we did was a, a moonlight reflection on the water. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of a similar thing. When you made the ripples, you just kind of swept thin lines across the canvas. You didn't like have to do the, the big arm swing, but you were a bit looser. You didn't have to necessarily keep it all on the wrist. Yeah. And that's what, what the painter told us, is that don't, don't just move your wrist, move your whole forearm. Yeah. See, this is where I get hung up though. So mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to do each individual line instead of just like, just kind of get, get the whole thing. I mean, it looks like water to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's all about creating the illusion of the image. It's illusion, and it is, uh, yeah, like I heard someone explain it, so it's the light play on yeah. the surface, which I guess yeah, is exactly. any kind of image. Uh -huh. All right, well, that's how our brain sees images. I'm gonna let you work on that and uh, take a little break from filming for a second, so we'll be right back. Yeah. Boop. So what I miss? We're playing. We're, yeah, we're playing around. We're um, a lot of it's kind of playing. What kind of yeah. brush are you using? This is a fan brush. Ah, yes. And we're doing some dry brushing technique, just to kind of. That looks like water. Yep. I think that's about where we're gonna leave it for today. So. Yeah, compared to the reference, it's not quite there, but it looks like water, which was ultimately the goal. Yeah. It was collaborative. Yes. It wasn't just me. It was or collaborative. We, we did it together. <laughs> we did. So thank you for for fainting with me. And thank you for imparting your uh, wisdom. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Hey, Nush. Mm, poor thing. You got food right there. Well, we are now heading up to my old middle school. It's been completely redone, so it's gonna look very different to what it did when I went there. So this will be exciting, going back to my middle school after, like, what, 15 years? Yeah, after I, now, yeah. yeah, 14, because I graduated in 2005 from middle school. So, this will be fun. Like a real actual school now. So this is the bus stop that I would get off at every day when I went to school. I took the bus to school in middle school. So uh, yeah, bus stop's still here. There are actual real buildings. These used to all be portables. And now they're actual buildings. Like, gosh, I wish it looked like this when I went here. <laughs> I know. So like, that uh, area uh, like, used to be like an open water. lawn thing. I think all of this, I don't know if this building existed, did it? It looks so different. Okay, so this, this was the theater. Um, this is gonna be brand new, cause yeah. 
I'm like, I'm even lost. Like I'm finding it difficult to anchor where things used to be. But yeah, I guess this is where the old theater room was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this is the same. Yeah, this is the same room. It's just like brand new floors. I think that might be the same old curtain though. And I think it's the same old like platform stage. Either that or just all stages are the same. But this might be the same stage that I performed in A Little Princess as Miss Minchin when I was in eighth grade. Got like real lights. I don't think we had real lights when I was here. <sighs> so this room right here is where I had my sixth grade science class. This room right here. Oh yeah, and over there, I think that building is where I had my eighth grade science class in one of those rooms. I don't remember which. And these stairs, it used to be a very small set of stairs and there were arrows saying which had to, like one side was to go up and one side was to go down and nobody ever paid attention to the arrows. Yeah, I remember hanging out in this back alleyway. Gosh, so this is the gym and it's much, much nicer than when I went here. Look at this. It's like a real actual gym now. That's crazy. Okay, it looks like there's still the dolphins, that's good. So when I went here, the gym was like this really old, leaky, like dark, dark <laughs> tin can of a building. And this is just amazing. I mean, it just looks so open and airy. And it probably won't leak when it rains. And there are actual bleachers. They didn't have any sort of seating or anything when I was when I went here. Or it certainly wasn't that nice. I don't remember, but there did used to be a stage right here. That's where they had like the talent show and assemblies and stuff. I think. I don't remember. I don't remember. These are the locker rooms. These used to be portables. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> There's like an actual real. They might, I, I have no idea. I have no idea anymore. I'm super turned around. Nothing looks the same anymore. That's crazy. Back here, there used to be some wooden bleachers just resting against the back of the gym. And that's where me and my friends would hang out at lunch every day. And I guess they are no longer here. So, RIP bleachers. Some nice days we would hang out on a dead grass spot out on the lawn. And I would imagine the spot is no longer dead, but it was when we went here. A new area to buy snacks and stuff. Um, I remember when I was here, I would always buy hot chocolates in the morning before school started. Um, but we bought food like in this little shack that was kind of around the corner from here. But uh, yeah, I guess it's now built into the gym and it's looking really nice. So yeah, so up, up this hill is where the old snack shack used to be, I think. And that's where I would buy my hot chocolate in the mornings or... We would also buy um, vanilla ice cream and then a soda from the vending machines because this was 2003 and we still had vending machines in schools. And uh, so we would make like floats with that. We would pour the soda into the ice cream and make floats. <laughs> and here's the basketball court. It's looking pretty much the same. That's the field where we used to run laps. Had to run the mile. Memories. Bah. This is definitely a building that was here when I was going here and it's, I think there were a couple of times when we hung out behind the building right there. Memory. Yeah, I think this is where my eighth grade science class was. Yeah. Oh, they don't have blinds anymore, they just have curtains. That seems very middle school to me. It's like something I would have drawn. Over here, there used to be like this big bike cage. So kids who rode their bike to school could like lock their bike up in this cage here during the day. So I don't know what kids are gonna do about their bikes now, but <laughs> you know. So that is how my middle school looks now. And I, all I can say is wow. And the next generation of kids has it pretty good.
they're in good hands, I think.